Hi, in this question, we are solving the question seventh from the exercise for the chapter motion in a plane. Now, in this question, we are studying the motion of a metro train. So, uh, our metro train hai, that is traveling between three stations. It starts its journey from station A, then it goes to station B, halts there for some time, and then finally it reaches station C, completing the journey from stations A initially to finally station C. Jaise ki hum bata sakte hai ki hamara total journey is divided into three uh, sub journeys or three parts of journeys and time instances for each of those parts are given to us in this particular question. Along with the time details, hume jo second uh, details di gai hai that is the detail regarding the speed of our uh, journey or the speed of the train throughout the journey. So as per the given information, our train is majority of the journey a constant speed ke karta hai and this speed is given to us as 72 km per hour. But uh, right at the start of its journey, it starts from rest that is 0 meters per second, uh, sorry 0 km per hour and then it reaches some value that is a constant speed of 72 km per hour in some time interval and this time interval is given as 10 seconds and this is the interval for acceleration similarly jab hamara train kisi next station par arrive hone ho uh, arrive hona chahta hai to it will change its speed from 72 km per hour to 0 km per hour so that it comes to rest at that particular station and is transition ke liye bhi the time required by the train is 10 seconds and based on all this information, we are required to do two things. First, we need to plot a graph between the velocity and time uh, of our particular motion. So, we have velocity or time ka relation batana hai for this particular example. And the second thing we have to calculate is the distance. Now, this distance has to be calculated between the stations A, B and C. So, we will indirectly calculate stations bet uh, distance between stations A and B and then distance between stations B and C. So let's get into the solving side. So first of all, what we will do is we will write all the data that's been given to us. Okay, so we have quantities that gives us the information about time. So the first thing is we know the time required by the train to travel between stations A and B. This is given as four minutes. And for this particular question, it would be easy for us to represent time in terms of second. So four minutes becomes four into 60, that is 240 seconds. Second information is given to us is time of halt. Okay, so this halt happens at station B and this halt is uh, for a duration of 20 seconds. Uh, we actually don't need the minute part because that's not given to us. And the third uh, time interval that's been given to us is the time interval for the journey from stations B to C. And this uh, journey happens in three minutes, which again, if I were to represent in terms of seconds, it would be three into 60, that is 180 seconds. Now, one thing in, uh, in observation se we can say is that the total time that we have to do in the total time, which is time required to travel between stations A to B, then halting at station B, and then again st uh, starting the journey between B and C, would be addition of all these three time intervals. So if I were to add all these time intervals, I would get 440 seconds. So this is the total time of journey. Now the second category of information or details we know is the details regarding speed. Okay. So the first detail is that our majority of journey ho raha hai, that is happening at a constant speed. And this speed is given to us as 72 kilometers per hour. And if I were to convert this into meters per second, uh, because we have to calculate seconds and meters, mein calculate karne wale hai, so this becomes 72 into 5 upon 18 meters per second, which if we were to solve would become 20 meters per second. So let me write this. So this is the constant speed ka value in terms of meters per second. And second is humko time intervals diye hai jis mein hume speed ka behavior pata chal raha hai. So the first time interval tells us uh, about the acceleration. So jab mera train uh, zero yani rest ke position se uh, constant speed ke position mein ja raha hai and that transition requires a, a time of 10 seconds. 
and the third uh, information that's been third piece of information that's given to us is the time it requires to come at rest okay so the time to come at rest okay so this time ka jo time interval hai that is also given to us as 10 seconds now that we have idea about all the given information now we can plot the graph between speed and time Uh, for this particular motion, quite easily. Okay, so speed and time graph. So, first of all, let us mark our uh, axis. So, we are going to represent the time uh, parameter on the horizontal axis, and then we are going to represent the speed parameter in meters per second along the vertical axis. Okay. नाउ टाइम रिलेटेड इन्फॉर्मेशन में हमें क्या क्या पता है हमें सबसे पहले पता है टोटल जर्नी का टाइम दैट इज़ फोर फोर्टी सेकेंड्स हमें पता है कि जर्नी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम जीरो सेकेंड वैल्यू बिकॉज दैट्स वेर वी स्टार्टेड कैलकुलेटिंग आर टाइम सो एट जीरो सेकेंड जब हमारा स्टॉप वॉच पे जीरो सेकेंड था तब हमारा ट्रेन वॉज एट स्टेशन ए एंड देन इट रीचेस स्टेशन बी एंड इस जर्नी को टोटल लगे थे टू फोर्टी सेकेंड्स सो जीरो प्लस टू फोर्टी सो हमारे टोटल टाइम के टू फोर्टी मार्क पर हमारा जो ट्रेन होगा दैट वुड रीच आर स्टेशन बी सो इट वुड बी समथिंग लाइक दिस सो इस ड्यूरेशन के बीच में आर ट्रेन इज ट्रैवलिंग फ्रॉम ए टू बी नाउ बी के हमारा जब ट्रेन बी पर पहुँच जाता है तो वो डायरेक्टली सी के पास नहीं जाता है इट हॉल्स फॉर स्टेशन बी फॉर अ टाइम ऑफ ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स तो हमारे टाइमलाइन पे वो हो जाएगा टू फोर्टी प्लस ट्वेंटी दैट इज़ टू सिक्सटी सेकेंड्स एंड देन टू सिक्सटी टू फोर फोर्टी के बीच का जो हमारा टाइम इंटरवल है दैट इज़ द टाइम रिक्वायर्ड बाय आर ट्रेन टू ट्रैवल बिटवीन बी एंड सी सो दीज आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट वैल्यूज ऑफ टाइम ऑन आर टाइम इंटरवल नाउ लेट एस सी इसके कंपेरिजन में वेलासिटी कैसे बिहेव करेगी तो सबसे पहले हमारा जो वेलोसिटी है मोस्टली जो है दैट इज कांस्टेंट एंड दिस कांस्टेंट वैल्यू इज गिवन टू अस एज 20 मीटर्स पर सेकेंड सो लेट अस प्लॉट द ग्राफ नाउ और द कर्व नाउ दिस इज वेलोसिटी वर्सेस टाइम कर्व सो हमें पता है कि हमारी हमारा जो ट्रेन है इट स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम जीरो वेलोसिटी जीरो स्पीड एंड देन फॉर द फर्स्ट टेन सेकेंड्स इट ट्राइज टू अक्वायर the 20 meters per second mark and once it acquires this mark it travels for a constant speed until until it is about to reach the next station that is station b in this case and jab usko pata chalta hai ki station pass mein aata hai so last 10 seconds of this journey mein it starts to decrease its speed and it tries to come at rest okay so this is how our train ka velocity will behave with respect to time फॉर द जर्नी बिटवीन स्टेशन ए एंड बी नाउ एट बी स्टेशन हमारा जो ट्रेन है दैट हॉल्स फॉर ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स सो बेसिकली हमारा टाइम विल इंक्रीज बट आर स्पीड विल रिमेन कॉन्स्टेंट एट जीरो मीटर्स पर सेकेंड आफ्टर ट्वेंटी सेकेंड्स हमारा जो ट्रेन है इट विल स्टार्ट टू इंक्रीज इट स्पीड अगेन फॉर द फर्स्ट टेन सेकेंड टू रीच द ट्वेंटी मीटर्स पर सेकेंड मार्क and then it will again travel at a constant speed and jab usse pata chal jayega ki it is reaching station c at the final 10 seconds mein it will start to decrease its speed to come at rest at this particular instance so this is the behavior of velocity with respect to time for this particular motion okay and this relationship is marked by curve let us call it p q r s t u v and w okay this was the graph and is graph pe kuch special time slots hai which jo hame mark karne chahiye so this is the time slot jahan par hamara uniform velocity achieve ho raha hai so hame pata hai ki it happens at the first 10 second mark and then yahan par hai where hamara jo hai uniform स्पीड खत्म होकर ट्रेन जो है डिसलरेशन के फेज में जा रहा है एंड इट हैपन्स इन द फाइनल टेन सेकेंड सो टू फोर्टी माइनस टेन दैट इज टू थर्टी सेकेंड मार्क पर ये बिहेवियर अचीव हो रहा है सिमिलरली फॉर दिस कर्व एट दिस पॉइंट इट इज द फर्स्ट टेन सेकेंड्स फॉर दिस जर्नी सो दिस इज टू सिक्सटी प्लस टेन दैट इज टू सेवेंटी एंड दिस इज द फाइनल टेन सेकेंड्स फॉर दिस जर्नी दैट इज फोर फोर्टी माइनस टेन दैट इज फोर थर्टी 
second ma now uh, let me just uh, name this points as q dash r dash u dash and v dash so uh our first part tha, uh, numerical ka is done over here humne jo hai velocity time ka plot kar diya hai now comes the second part of our numerical that is to find the distances now one thing uh, that's good for us is we know uh, we don't have to use any equations or formula to calculate this distance because we know that the area under uh, velocity time curve for any motion gives us the distance so agar kisi tarike se agar hum is quadrilateral ke area dhoond lete hai so hame mil jayega distance between stations a and b okay so if i were to find this area it would give me distance between stations a and b similarly agar hum area dhoond lete hai for uh, quadrilateral T U V W, so that is this area. So this will give us the distance between stations B and C. So this will give us station uh, distance between stations B and C. So so first thing, let us try to calculate distance between. So let us calculate distance for A B, and we know it is area of quadrilateral P. Q R S. Now, if we carefully look, so this quadrilateral P Q R S is made up of three simple shapes. First is the triangle P Q Q dash. So first is a triangle P. Sorry, first is a triangle P Q Q dash. Second simple shape is a rectangle Q R R dash Q dash. So we have a rectangle, so we can calculate area of rectangle P Q R R dash Q dash. And the third and the final shape is again a small triangle R S R dash. So again, a triangle R S R dash. So if we were to calculate areas of all these three shapes and add them, we would get area of this particular quadrilateral. Abhi, to calculate the area of this triangle, we can say it is half into base into height. Base is PQ. So we'll write half into PQ dash into height is QQ dash. Okay, QQ dash. Plus uh, area of rectangle is length into width. So width is Q dash R dash and length is R R dash. So we have Q, Q dash into R, R dash. And then again, we have area of second triangle that is uh, half into base is R dash S and length is R, R dash. So half into R, uh, sorry, base is R dash S into R, R dash. Okay. And from this graph, if we were to calculate these lengths, we would get half into 10 into 20 plus q q dash is 230 minus 10 that is 220 into 20 plus half into 10 into 20 if we were to quickly solve this we would get 100 plus 40 400 plus 100 again and if we were to add this we would get distance between a b the stations A and B is 4600 meters, which is same as saying 4.6 kilometers. This is the distance between the stations A and B. Now, using the same method, uh, let us quickly, if we were to calculate the distance between stations uh, B and C. So uh, I uh, keep the calculation part to you guys because it's the same thing. So you just have to observe this graph and calculate the area under this graph using the similar methods. And if you do that, you will get the distance between stations B and C to be 3600 meters. That is 3.6 kilometers. Now keep in mind, I'm keeping calculation to you guys. Okay. So with this, we successfully solved this particular numerical. So for your screenshot, uh, take this part where we wrote the given data. Then we have the first part of a numerical that is to plot a graph between speed and time for this motion. 
and then we have the second part of our numerical where we calculated distance between the two stations with this i hope this helped you thank you